<laughs> slap, slap, smegs back, Fox is back. So we are starting again in Journey to the Savage Play. Wait, let me make sure I'm recording. Am I recording? Okay, yeah, I'm recording. Well, I'm always paranoid if I'm recording or not. Okay, so, time to press on. Let's, we're, not, we're not wasting time. I want to hit this bomb objective by time we go. Oh. It was just a few My steps further. Sensors are picking up a molten liquid nearby. If you analyze it, we may be able to craft an upgrade to your gauntlet. Time for analysis. Here we go. What are we pulling out of this thing? Hmm. Looks like a bunch of molten explodey stuff. Very right. interesting. Now that we've analyzed this warm goo, you can upgrade your gauntlet to handle objects at any temperature. Can you upgrade my entire suit to handle objects of any temperature? That would be super nice. Like, wh why, why apply it just to my gauntlet? Okay, let's continue on. I wish I could just get back to this. I like holding this standard because I don't like watching my character hang on to those gooey, gooey, nasty things. Across that ostentatiously dramatic bridge lies the entrance to the tower. I got no idea what to expect in there, but that's where we're headed. And not right now, obviously. We don't have the right stuff, but soon, assuming you stay alive. And this is a pretty sweet screenshot, I gotta say. I can find no easy way to open the door from this location. That said, I am detecting various connections to devices and systems high above your current location. I am adjusting your compass to reflect this new information. You've got mail! Only kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. You got some important new mail back in the job. This appears to be another transportation device. I'm not detecting any threat to your... Shut up, computer. Gosh, such a jabber jaw. Okay, so now we should be able to get that bomb glove. Oh, what? I thought this would... The itching fields? Sounds like some kind of weird STD. Also ask that you report back to the javelin at your earliest convenience for a very special surprise. It will only take a moment of your time. Stink shroom. Disgusting gray mushroom in an endless state of decomposition. Smells like dumpster shrimp. Oh, that sounds lovely. What's that? Amazing! Amber this armor? This creature created armor from amber to protect itself. Let's kill it anyway. It's clear that uh, Amber are both protective and stylish. You could likely melt it away with acid. Ah, I see. Interesting. So it's probably explosion resistant, which is why we need to use acid. Hey, wh what are we doing? Let's head back to get our upgrade. Now, I'm betting that the way this is going to work is... Oh, so this is an entirely new area. Fascinating. I was wondering if that first area was going to be the entire game. The surprise is paperwork. Okay, step one. Upgrades. Okay, so we should have... Okay, here we go. Oh, come on. I need more... Silicone. Darn it. Okay, we gotta get some more silicone. Let's, uh, where's my personal computer at? Let's see what this thing's about. Wait, hold on a second. Okay, so I've been recording for four minutes. Uh, I forgot to start my timer. Off, on, there we go. Okay, new report. Greetings, Explorer. Everyone at Kindred is pleased to find you still alive. Thanks for getting to the survey so quickly, too. Teacher's pet. Um, I guess I gotta make a report. You've survived this journey entirely on your own thus far. How has this affected your mental state? Are you lonely? Depressed? I'm lonely. There you go. If you're lonely, you can always invite a friend. Oh, yeah, that's more right. Bitter and project you're keeping great pace, by the way. Quality. Oh, my also, God. Just, uh, just give me the questions. 
Just give me the surveys. Shut up, you stupid computer. Oh gosh, I forgot to say what I wrote. Okay, whoops, that's what I get for rushing. Uh, let's see. Exciting news. We're here at Monocorp First Galactic Bank of Commerce, a proud member of Globover's family of corporations and financial subsidiaries. I'd like to share with you a wonderful development in your financial status. As of today, your checking account balance is now $492,237. Is that a lot if we factor in for future inflation? While this level of debt may seem substantial, with your recent promotion to Intergalactic Explorer, combined with its accompanying 2% bump in annual salary, we can now project that you will likely be free and clear of debt in as little as 42 years. Oh, the $400,000 is still a lot. This projection represents a significant step down from your previous projection of 51 years. Oh, yeah, technically, three years faster would be significant. It puts you well above the average in terms of debt elimination among general population. After careful review of these recent developments, the decision has been made to downgrade the status of your debt from crippling to deeply crippling, to deeply debilitating, which seem about the same to me. Weekly weather forecast. Good afternoon. Uh, summer has officially arrived in Montreal. As temperatures continue to rise, we expect to see a week as high as in line with the average of seasonal range of uh, two, 120 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit based on the last 15 years of weather data. As we typically suggest during this time of year, try to stay indoors as much as possible and keep direct exposure to the sun to under 30 seconds. If you're planning a day out, be sure to pack a sunscreen of at least 350 SPF and remember to literally reapply every 5 to 10 minutes. Here's your 7-day forecast. Uh, Monday, 122 degrees Fahrenheit, 73% chance of scalding acid rain, 7 to 8 inches. Tuesday, 125 degrees Fahrenheit, 11% chance of sizzling vapor winds. Wednesday, 152 degrees, mel flesh melting UV ray warning in effect. Thursday, 44 degrees, wow, that's... That's a quite a dip. Slight possibility of overnight plague mist. Friday, 145 degrees Fahrenheit. 52% chance of mild fire tornadoes, which are also known as flame whirls. So I'm guessing the uh, the Earth has become like a uh, some kind of desolate wasteland. Exci that's why we're looking for new planets, certainly. Exciting vacations from extra reality tours. Are you desperate to escape the dismal drudgery of your daily grind and but we can barely find the time to even stop and think about how bored you are? Do you feel tired of being a lame, predictable, and overwhelmingly dull person but don't have the cash to do something fun for once in your sad, pathetic life? You, you should have added a comma there. All well, you guys are illiterate. Like, how dare you write this to me? Have you ever dreamt of navigating the lush foliage of the Amazon, feeling the mist of the Niagara on your face, or swimming amongst the vibrant colors of the Great Barrier Reef only to remember that such wonders either burst into flames or sank into the ocean long ago? Let Extra Reality Tours whisk you away by injecting your fantasy vacation straight into your brain. Enjoy perfect weather. Visit impossible destinations. Be an interesting person. The choice is yours. For a limited time, we're offering 50% off of the Platinum Friendship Passage package. Simulate actual friends and fully immerse yourself in the wild fantasy that people like you and want to be around you. Okay. Definitely, uh, I think this is all. We've we seen that. Oh? Nobody works in here? Oh my god. Oh, hi. Yeah, good to see you again. Yes, I hope you're doing well and thank you for your continued dedication. I'll keep it simple. The data you've gathered so far has set off an automated alarm in our system. We're not entirely sure why just yet, but inside that tower that you discovered is something of immense potential. Get inside, find out what it is, and bring it back. There's a huge reward waiting for you if you do. Good luck. Maybe he's not as crazy. Maybe his craziness is just as, uh 
persona that he that he puts on because he seems like thoughts, wipe them. ill feelings wipe them tragic memories wipe them, wipe them all that is so nasty disposable neural restimulation membrane just insert into one orifice and oh. out the other do how about not teleweave fibers do the rest i'm disgusted Moisturizes as it soothes. Great for dry brains or stressful gas. Dry brains? Sucks. Brain wipes intelligently navigates the interior sectors of your brain, removing any thoughts of malcontent, putting you back on the track to a positive outlook. Wipe away your words with Brain Wipes emotional disinfectant smart tissues. Available in happy, apathetic, and sociopath. I don't even know what to tell you. To improve your overall mood, we have increased the amount of Ozban pharmaceuticals automatically injected into your food. Enjoy the results at your leisure. Oh, why'd she put so much effort? Oh, food! Did you hear that? Like, what was up with that? Did she run out of uh, oxygen when she was making that take? Ah, I don't have enough silicone! God! Okay, we gotta go kill some stuff. I, I require silicone. Alright, hold on a second. Let's go to. Well, first let's okay I want to try something maybe we can get the uh, the challenge for defeating all of the the birds that's uh what I, here's my idea I'm gonna grab some grub I said grab some grub there we go we got five grub I need the birds that die in one hit and I also need do any of you guys have are any of you guys worth... No, you guys are all... Oh, yeah, you're all worth carbon. You all are worthless to me. And then I charged it up unnecessarily. Of course I did. Now, if I remember right... I should be able to just jump up here now. Oh. I, I love backtracking to old areas when you have upgrades and suddenly you can just like easily bypass everything. Helps to remind you like just how far you've come in terms of your upgrades. I have always... Oh my, look at all this stuff here as well. Hmm. I would not have... I would have forgotten all about this. Hold on a second. I think we need to investigate. So here's the plan. First, open up the journal. Kill four creatures with the Alpha Puffer Birds. Come on. How do, how do I get... That, that's four of them, I think. Oh, come on. That wasn't... Whose eyeball is this? Ew. Why is it so realistic looking? How did I miss this? Upgrade time. No commentary? Take that. Okay. Hold on a second. Now, I, th I think we're on to something. I think that we... I think it'll work, but... Here, these need to go away so that those birds stop moving. Anyways, I want to climb around here a little bit. Let me see what's going on. Oh, I can shoot these to release the resources. Why don't I just shoot everything just to see what happens? Wait a second, I see the pimples over there. That means that there is a treasure box nearby. Really? That's... Here we go. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Here we go. Give me your goodies. That's right. That's what I thought. What else do we have up here? Weird psychedelic mushroom guys. Okay, is there an alpha here? Yes, there is. Okay. Throw, we're gonna throw the grab right here. Throw it right next to the alpha. Here, here we go, here we go. Ooh! He blew me up too. Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it, we did it. 
submitted. Please return to the javelin for a celebration. Oh, we also got some uh, silicone. Okay. Success. <laughs> Give me my health back. These things are so gross, I hate them. Okay, let's see. Uh, give me some of these seeds. It looks like we're full on those. All right, so here's what we're going to do next. We're going to head to the next area. Oh, yeah, I'm going to charge up. Charge shot coming up. <laughs> yeah! These guys are always worth silicone, so we want to kill them. I wish it would tell me what my total silicone is. They're not worth a ton, though, unfortunately. Just a bit of a trickle. Alright, let's see. What's our new objectives? Oh, we got enough! Okay. New objective. We gotta get back to the teleporter. I wish there was an easier way to get back to the teleporter. What's up with this game and eyeballs? Like, everything we shoot turns into eyeballs. Stop moving around, you crazy thing. There we go. I guess I'll grab some more grab ball, Amir. Fill up on any seat. I want to know what this is. How dare you. Okay, back to the base. You can craft an upgrade, if you wanna. Oh, I wanna. Congratulations! Your dedication to science and progress has paid off. Kindred has awarded you the rank of Field Explorer. New upgrades have been unlocked in the 3D printer. How about this? That better not be my reward. Like, what's up, like, old, like, ni Windows 95 screensaver? Oh my god, it ran his conf confetti. Wow. I, I feel so accomplished. Okay, here we go. Now we can get this. The Bomagranite Stabilizer. What does this one do? Bigger blasts and it's bigger and stronger blasts. Interesting. So I'm guessing there's going to be a fruit stable, a shock fruit stabilizer, and a blight bomb stabilizer, which makes sense. And they'll probably be guarded by a boss as well. That's that would be a logical. Oh, what's this? I need. I can get this, can't I? More damage, less. But well, before we commit to any of this, yeah, these all require. Alloy. Hover. Wait, what does this do? Precious mag stuff magnet. Never lose any loot ever again. Hover up. Who hovers up any nearby loot at a large and slightly unbelievable radius? Um. Triple thrusters. Gain an extra jump uh, in the air. Oh, so I can do a triple. Okay, that sounds the most useful. This one also could be useful as well. So let's get the triple jump. And there's a quadruple jump, jeez. And the next thing I want is this. Oh, what's this over here? Orange goo detector. Oh, man, we definitely need that. Oh, and I can survey to find them. Alloy detector. Oh, my God, we need those immediately. Hold on a second. What's, what, what's up with my hand? Okay, so what do we need for this? I need a ton of silicone... And I'm also going to start running out of- I need basically everything, but in particular, we're having a silicone problem. So let's- oh, let's choose a new objective. Ah, uh, investigate the tower. Uh, we can't do that just yet. Fun with corrosives. Keep exploring while the cartographers search for a suitable resource. Static panic. Okay, that's for the two additional fruits. Ah, uh, look at this. We got even more. Live samples. The- Capienna, the jelly waft, and the infected puffer bird. Experiment corrosive rain. Uh huh. Easy target. Kill four stuck creatures with the binding bile in three seconds. That one sounds like we could do it. 
We could easily, uh... All, all we need to do is use the, the, the little birds again, and then we could goop them. Kill three amber puff birds with a single bombagrana. That one could take a little bit of finagling. Interesting. So here's what I want to do. I want to see if we can find that final undiscovered area. New science experiments have been added to your journal. Please complete them when you get a moment. Kindred promises more valuable rewards. Okay, so here we are back in this area. And uh, according to them, we can't make it up there yet. I, I will go ahead and take their word for it. So let's backtrack. Uh, there, I want to find the final area in... What's the name of this area that we're in? I can't remember the name of this this particular overall geographic region. But I feel like... Because uh, going through that, that took us to the itching fields, and that's like a, a whole new separate area, and that's not, that's not what I want. I want... Oh, interesting, the boss is... Body stays here, I guess, is like a reminder of your previous triumph. Interesting. So, is this a dead end? Is there no other way? Is there no other pathway forwards? Let's try and get over there. Let's head back. Okay. Good. Alright, let's check this area out. Wait, am I under attack by one of those jellyfish? Yeah, give me your silicone. How nice that these jellyfish happen to be made out of silicone. Normally there's two of them. Yeah, that's what I thought. They always come in pairs. Yeah, we're gonna need way more than that. They're giving me like 10 to 15 silicone each. I wonder what I don't I think those guys are just made out of carbon. Where's the magma going? That was not what I was trying to do. I guess we can't see. It's just sinking deep inside the mountain. Ah, oh, here we go. A silicone deposit and orange goo. There we go. Oh, I can slap this... Okay, yeah, yeah, I can slap it, or I can... shoot it away. Here we go. Gives me 15... There's that green thing again. That's the belching area. Obviously, we've already done that, because it's been looted already. Huh. What? Oh, no! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, here we go. Look at this. One, two... Oh, not bad. Not bad. There's another one. Okay, so obviously collecting those is going to become relevant, but I don't know how we're going to get to it. We're going to need... Maybe I can fly eventually? One, two... Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. I really like the upgrades. That's one thing I'll say. The upgrades feel pretty good in this game. Of course, I'm having a... Stupid overcharging problem. So is there nothing here? What is that? I can't get close enough to scan it. Huh. Whatever. Let's go to the next area. I'll figure it out later. Let's go to the itching fields. Fourth best! Alright boys, here we are in the itching fields. Wow. He didn't feel that at all. Let's try the acid thing on it as an experiment. Oh, not happy about it, are you? Interesting. Anything to scan here? No. Uh, let's get the quest active for... There we go. Live samples. That way I can kind of keep their names in my mind. 
secret nearby, of course. Why wouldn't there be? What's this? Zor's planetary floatsome? Fascinating. I am detecting elements of an ancient transmission from within the tower that seems to be localized within these tablets. My initial assessment is it is some kind of video codec. If you could find more of these, I will continue to decode and store them. Okay, left this or new right? Information is fascinating. I am cross-referencing right. it with our database of alien languages and attempting translation. I have also added a new folder to your desktop on the Javelin's computer. You can check out the results there at your leisure. <laughs> Aha! Very nice. Okay, we got some grob here. Oh, I could probably do that quest. Let's let's get it. Let's try. Let's get the grob, and then we'll goo him. Um, is there not enough of them here? No, there's only three of them here. We need four. They're pooping. I, I don't remember if I need to kill them all at once, or... Let, yeah, let me see. Um... Oh, in three seconds, okay. So, I, I, yeah, I would need them all to be, like, really close to each other, so that's not going to work. Oh well, worth a try. Okay, so... Wait a second, what's over here? Gonna need more than that can-do attitude to climb that wall. The cartographers identified an unstable liquid gas nearby. If you want to upgrade your jetpack, I'd go find some alien hieroglyphics. It looks like they're indicating that we need some kind of jump augmentation to progress. Okay. Very interesting. Let's uh, continue this way, I guess. <laughs> I like doing that, I, I'm not going to lie. Wow, look how far away- oh, there's a green and orange thing over there, interesting. Okay. All right. What do we have in here, I wonder? The festering chasm sounds homey. Well, I guess let's go down. Plenty of silicone, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, is that acid, I wonder? Is that why it's considered festering? Yeah. Got these classic mushroom platforms. It's like we're practically playing Mario now. So let's find out, is this acid? No, it's not. Just really gross looking water. Well, I mean, this area could have a ton of resources. That's certain. What was that? Oh, it's one of these boomerang guys. Oh, he throws them back at me. Oh, which one is coming to it? Oh, this is frustrating! Stop being annoying! And of course my weapons are reloading. Why wouldn't it be? Which one's gonna go for it? God damn it! 
They have bad aim, I'll say that much. Okay, that's one. Where's the other one? Gotcha. Oh, I see him. Got him that time. Oh, 125 silica? Hell yeah, I'll take that. Look at me that. I've never killed one of these before. I want to know what they drop. If anything. Oh, they give me a little bit of silica. Not a whole lot, but... Okay, so we got another alien alloy. That's always good news. Oh, we have an uh, orange goo over here. I wonder if I can triple jump to it. Really, I, this doesn't count as a little ledge for me? Okay, just barely. It, it does count, just barely. Okay, here we go. One. Got it! And some silicone. What's this? Another one of these jump... I mean, like, who would have guessed this had something to do with going upwards? This, with weird Cthulhu-looking aliens. Oh! Ah, so this the, this... the itching fields must have red-colored ones, I see. And we got something over here we can scan. What is this? New messages are waiting for you at the Javelin. A secret nearby. Of course there is. There's always a secret nearby. Okay. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna end this episode here, because I think we're at about the 30 minute mark. Uh, we're, uh, we're actually making pretty good progress. I, wonder, I do like the pacing of this game. Uh, even if I don't know what to do, it's not terribly hard to find a new place to get lost in. What? What did we do? Oh, they're pissed. They're pissed off. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so they're going to bring more of these guys out, I see. So it's basically an enemy gateway. That's kind of okay, because I need resources. Oh, that one's a different color. Scan it. Scan it. Okay, let's knock out the, the other ones and isolate the, the other one. I need to document it. Where is it? Jellyfish Waft Prime? Don't I need to collect a sample from this thing? Hold on a second, I'm gonna take cover and look at my notes real fast. Wait, is this something new? Again? Ow! Okay, let me check my journal real fast. Um... Live samples. A jelly waft. Okay, not that kind. Okay, we're, we're okay to go. Wait, what? I, I could have swore there was something... Hit two creatures with the acid burst. Oh, I see. Okay, let's get out the, um... The grub. See if I can lure him over here. Whoa! Ow! What's he doing? Ah, we'll try it some more later. Oh, man, there's still more of them. Here, how about some of this? Any more environmental traps I can use? Let's try another one of these on it. Oh, nope, wasn't quite enough. There we go, he's right next to me. I missed it! Darn it! I keep trying. I'm trying. These guys really don't do that much damage, do they? 
Okay, I'm gonna use one of the goopy goops on him. There we go. Oh, I goopy gooped myself. Very interesting. And I didn't want to do that. There we go. Okay. So that's really going to be the end of the- Oh, is that what these green stones are? They are- Are they teleporters? But they're not something I can collect, they're just a type of teleporter. Or they mark the location of a teleporter, I see. Anyways! That is really going to be the end of this episode. Like I said, I do enjoy the pacing of this game. At first I was, like, unsure about it, but I do, I, I do like games where there's a lot of, like, uh, exploration-based upgrades. I do find those to be quite a bit fun. Like I said, very much in the vein of uh, Metroid, where the upgrade doesn't necessarily make you do more damage, but allows you to, like, access more areas. Like, I, I, it, those always feel very rewarding. It's similar to, like, Terraria. You know, Legend of Zelda, Metroid, very cool, and it, and it does share some similarity there with Subnautica, but this is definitely a completely different kind of game than Subnautica, like, this is not a survival game. They're both exploration adventure, they're both adventure games, though, for sure, but this is a 3D platforming adventure game, whereas Subnautica is a uh, 3D survival game, but uh, a survival builder. Because this, okay, this game doesn't involve any building or anything like that. At any rate, that's the end of this episode. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments section. Like this video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for future Journey to the Savage Planet content. And of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.